there is money and there is money and believe me finally when i started learning how to make money i started to make money more virtually because i write i edit i blog and so it was easy for me to get clients without them coming physically come to my office and all of that and then um after a while sometime two two years ago i decided that i want to do a, a like physical businesses businesses that people walk in and go and try and there'll be traffic and i tried two types of business one of them was poultry business and the other was a restaurant business and how my experience went is what i'm going to use as a case study to teach you right how to scale your money in this video so if you're working for the first time welcome right here i teach you how to make more money and more money and learn how to manage your money and allow money to work for you okay i'm going to redefine that you know pretty soon but you know we are pretty new here so be bear with me and this is one stop shop where you're going to learn everything about how to make your money work for you especially if you're an african did i mention that before yeah if you're an african this is one place you're going to learn how to make money from what you currently do or from your environment okay now if you're ready to know how to scale your money then keep watching please subscribe right now okay welcome back welcome back okay so how do you scale your money that means you have identified the problem you have started out doing this or solving this problem now how do you make this money multiply how do you get this money to you know get have more value and help you attain financial freedom that's always the problem when you get here and this is the solution i'm going to bring right here okay so i was telling you about my poetry and my restaurant business right so you find a food problem right so you want to cook specific kind of dishes because you figure out or by feasibility you find out that a lot of people are not able to access that kind of food which is typical of what i did okay now you get on to begin to do this business and then you are physically there you are you know doing juggling it you know you're you're involved in the sales you're involved in the production you're involved in the purchasing you're involved in the recording and record and um, bookkeeping you're involved in the marketing both online and offline and you're involved in logistics at the end of the day you discover that you are working at a loss right you have this back and forth and yet you keep wondering so how are all these other people doing this because either you came into the market like i did you know a little charging a little bit higher right because i was very realistic with my cost and i thought they couldn't be selling the plate of food for instance for this amount so it has to be this amount because that's what realistically it is and even though it is realistically what it cost me to produce it everybody just felt oh it's too high it's too high but i was able to attract the kind of people i wanted to but then it still could not sustain itself until i had to do something differently now that is also how money works in different sectors so if you start up providing the um, solution for a particular pro money problem you have seen that will, make, that will pay you how do you ensure that you create the system that will help you scale it so i have a few ideas for you in this channel right in this video look at it this way instead of creating a restaurant that has a one location serving a particular people how can you create a structure the type of dishes the recipe of the dishes the branding of the place the kind of chairs tables color codes that are in that place the service structure the kind of staff you you employ the kind of process towards serving people the costing location you know all of that you design all of that using this um, one as a pilot that people can see and appreciate the brand and then even create uh, and then sell this template to other people that is what we call a franchise right so people can come in and say oh i want to run this kind of chain i want to locate mine in xyz state or in xyz county or xyz place okay so that becomes a business away from you first of all you must have a structure around getting people to understand your your business process that means you have to document how you do everything that you do from logistics since you've been part of it from logistics to purchasing to meal prepping to production to service to close up and closing sales 
all of that you have to document step by step how you have been doing it and then make it established across board so that when you employ somebody to handle any part or two or two of the areas they just look at the document and they can and they can know xyz how to go about this how to speak to customers how to get people to come you know patronize the business how to cook this kind of dish what kind of ingredients that are needed what timing should it be on fire all of those things documented now this looks like pretty much a complex thing but we can break it down in another video this is about creating your business structure it's only when you have that kind of business structure that you can have a franchise right now franchising what you do is the next big thing that african organizations and businesses that entrepreneurs need to cash into okay i was talking to a coach a nigerian coach who is specialized in business structure his name is nam the ebay and he has such a huge huge resource around business structure you may want to follow him uh in the in the description i'm going to um leave his, his facebook details there so you can go check out what he what he does but really this is the way to go if we're going to build wealth from you and I and across Africa and beyond. Okay. Now, another way we can scale our business is to look at different streams of income from one source of uh, merchandise. So looking at, for example, I do business consulting, right? Then, but I'm also doing this video for you for free on a platform that will eventually pay me. So I'm going to create another source of income from giving the advices I typically give to my one-on-one -on -one clients, also giving it to people who will um, eventually help me make more money by delivering this service even for free, by selling ads, right? I can also publicize people right here who are business people, business owners, and they're also going to pay me for sponsoring their products on my video. And there's so many other ways to create money channels. Like I gave, I had an example of uh, a lot of people in my area who probably are fitness coaches. So they get people into a room, people come to a physical place, pay a certain amount every month to be trained, to lose weight and all that. But then you can create an online course. Like I have an online course for book editors, for instance. Mine is for book editors. But you can create an online course on fitness where you're doing the 247 thing. So people can log in at any time that they are convenient. That is confident for them and follow your you know your drills and still achieve the same result just by um, by paying a little amount of money or a huge amount of money anyhow you are selling it and you can still make money without having to physically do those exercises again okay that's one way to scale and anybody in any part of the world can tune in and be and pay you to get your drill okay so there are many other ways of of um Scaling your business, but I hope I'm able to, you know, psych your idea a bit, psych your psyche a bit to know how to create multiple streams of income and scaling your money from the business that you're currently doing. In another video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can move from creating one source of income to at least eight sources of income from that one business. If you're interested in that video, let me know in the comment section and I would create it right away. Until I come your way again, if you haven't subscribed, it's a good time to subscribe and share this video with somebody who has a money problem and needs to create wealth because we are all going up together, baby. We are going off together. Everybody tagging everybody along. We are not doing that whole one person is rich and the other people are poor kind of thing we do in Africa. We have to go up together. That way we can never become poor again. If you know, see you in the next video.